Prisons, and their administration, is a state subject covered by Item 4 under the state list in the Seventh Schedule of the Constitution of India. The management and administration of prisons falls exclusively in the domain of the state governments, and is governed by the Prisons Act, 1894 and the prison manuals of the respective state governments. Thus, the states have the primary role, responsibility and authority to change the current prison laws, rules and regulations. The central government provides assistance to the states to improve security in prisons, for the repair and renovation of old prisons, medical facilities, development of borstal schools, facilities to women offenders, vocational training, modernization of prison industries, training to prison personnel, and for the creation of high security enclosures. The Supreme Court of India, in its judgments on various aspects of prison administration, has laid down three broad principles regarding imprisonment and custody. Firstly, a person in prison does not become a non-person. Secondly, a person in prison is entitled to all human rights within the limitations of imprisonment. Lastly, there is no justification for aggravating the suffering already inherent in the process of incarceration. Topic types of prisons Topic Prison establishments in India comprise eight categories of jails. The most common and standard jail institutions are central jails, district jails and sub-jails. The other types of jail establishments are women jails, borstal schools, open jails and special jails. Topic central jail Topic The criteria for a jail to be categorized as a central jail varies from state to state. However, the common feature observed throughout India is that prisoners sentenced to imprisonment for a long period more than two years are confined in the central jails, which have larger capacity in comparison to other jails. These jails also have rehabilitation facilities. Madhya Pradesh has the highest number of 11 central jails followed by Maharashtra, Punjab, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu with nine each. Karnataka and Delhi each have eight central jails, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Daman and Diu and Lakshadweep do not have any central jails. Topic district jail Topic District jails serve as the main prisons in states, UTs where there are no central jails. States which have considerable number of district jails are Uttar Pradesh 57, Madhya Pradesh 39, Bihar 31, Maharashtra 28, Rajasthan 24, Assam 22, Karnataka 19, Jharkhand 17 and Haryana 16, Kerala 11, West Bengal 12, Chhattisgarh 11, Jammu and Kashmir and Nagaland 10 each. Topic sub jail topic sub jails are smaller institutions situated at a sub-divisional level in the states. Nine states have reported comparatively higher number of sub jails, revealing a well-organized prison setup even at lower formation. These states are Maharashtra 100, Andhra Pradesh 99, Tamil Nadu 96, Madhya Pradesh 72, Karnataka 70, Odisha 73, Rajasthan 60, Telangana and West Bengal 33 each. Odisha had the highest capacity of inmates in various sub jails. Point seven states UTs have no sub jails, namely Arunachal Pradesh, Haryana, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, Chandigarh, and Delhi. Topic women's jail. Topic jails built to exclusively house women prisoners. Most of the staff in such jails are usually women. Maharashtra has five women jails. Kerala and Tamil Nadu each have three women jails. Topic Borstal School Topic Borstal schools are a type of youth detention center and are used exclusively for the imprisonment of minors or juveniles. The primary objective of Borstal schools is to ensure care, welfare and rehabilitation of young offenders in an environment suitable for children and keep them away from contaminating atmosphere of the prison. The juveniles in conflict with law detained in Borstal schools are provided various vocational training and education with the help of trained teachers. The emphasis is given on the education, training and moral influence conducive for their reformation and prevention of crime. Nine states namely, Himachal Pradesh, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Punjab, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and Telangana have borstal schools in their respective jurisdictions. Tamil Nadu had the highest capacity for keeping 678 inmates. Himachal Pradesh and Kerala are the only states that have the capacity to lodge female inmates in two of their borstal schools. There are no borstal schools in any of the UTs at the end of 2015. Topic open jail Topic Open jails are minimum security prisons. Prisoners with good behavior satisfying certain norms prescribed in the prison rules are admitted in open prisons. 
Prisoners, here, are engaged in agricultural activities. Seventeen states have functioning open jails in their jurisdiction. Rajasthan reported the highest number of 29 open jails. There are no open jails in any of the UTs at the end of 2015. Topic special jail Topic Special jails are high security facilities that have specialized arrangements for keeping offenders and prisoners who are convicted of terrorism, insurgency and violent crimes. Special jail means any prison provided for the confinement of a particular class or particular classes of prisoners which are broadly as follows, prisoners who have committed serious violations of prison discipline. Prisoners showing tendencies towards violence and aggression. Difficult discipline cases of habitual offenders. Difficult discipline cases from a group of professional, organized criminals. Kerala has the highest number of special jails 16. Provision for keeping female prisoners in these special jails is available in Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, Gujarat, Kerala, Assam, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Topic other jails Topic Jails that do not fall into the categories discussed above, fall under the category of other jails. Three states, Karnataka, Kerala and Maharashtra, have one other jail each in their jurisdiction. No other state, UT has an other jail at the end of 2015. The capacity of inmates male and female reported by these three states in such jails was highest in Karnataka 250 followed by Kerala 142, Goa 45, and Maharashtra 28. Topic expenditure topic All states and UTs in India had a combined sanctioned budget of 42,788.12 million rupees $600 million in 2014-15 for prison-related expenditure. Prison expenditure is broadly categorized as plan expenditure and non-plan expenditure. Expenditure on specific planned activities under the five-year plan is termed as plan expenditure. Expenditure made for meeting day-to-day -day expenses and running establishments like payment of salaries, wages, rent, etc. come under the non-plan expenditure. Non-plan expenditure may also include activities for development of existing infrastructure and bringing about improvements in the prisons. Expenditure on prison inmates is categorized as food, clothing, medical, vocational, educational facilities, welfare and other expenses. Food expenses account for more than half the total expenditure on prison inmates. Topic prison population statistics topic As of 31 December 2014, there are 1387 functioning jails in India having a total capacity to house 356,561 prisoners. As of the same date, there were 418,536 inmates in jails across in India. Males at 400,855 make up 95. 8% of prisoners while females at 17,681 represent 4.2%. As of 31 December 2015, there are 1401 functioning establishments, institutions in India housing a total of 419,623 inmates, which includes pre-trial detainees and remand prisoners. The remand prisoners and pre-trial detainees account for 67.2% of the prison population in India. The official capacity of the prison system is 366,781 therefore, the occupancy level is at 114.4%. Of these prisoners, 4.3% are female prisoners and 1.5% are foreign prisoners. One of the primary reasons for the overcrowding of prisons is the pendency of court cases. As on March 31, 2016, more than three crore cases are pending in various courts, and two of every three prison inmates in the country are under trials. The four, 19,623 prisoners of 2015, for example, included two, 82,076 under trials, or 67%, according to NCRB data. Dot. Some other causes for big pre-trial population are corruption, role of police, prosecutors, and judiciary. Indian police system is heavily understaffed and underpaid. It contributes to high detainees population since there are less officials for accused prisoners to accompany them to court. So, their date for hearing keeps getting pushed back. Prosecutors in India are also substantially burdened. There are many vacant assistant posts, but no incentive has been made to fill those posts to fast-track the process. Judiciary Department also contributes to such extensiveness of pre-trial detainees. There is a backlog of 30 million cases in India. With so many cases to handle, shockingly the number of judges in India is comparatively very low, there are only 10.5 judges on average per every million people. 
Many of the pre-trial detainees are poor and underprivileged. Even though for some of them bail is approved, they still cannot get out because they do not have the money or resources to pay out the bail. Many of detainees are also uneducated and completely unaware of their rights. About 71% of pre-trial detainees are illiterate and do not even have a high school diploma, so, they are ignorant of many amendments that have been passed, which they can seek to go free. Topic. Types of prison inmates Topic. Prison inmates lodged in Indian jails are categorized as convicts, under trials and detainees. A convict is a person found guilty of a crime and sentenced by a court, or a person serving a sentence in prison. An under trial is a person who is currently on trial in a court of law. A detainee is any person held in custody. Prison inmates lodged in Indian jails in relation to non Indian Penal Code IPC crimes are classified as civil prisoners. They consist of convicts and under trials. The terms prison and jail are used interchangeably in India, perhaps reflecting the fact that no significant effort is made to separate under trials, as those awaiting trial are known, from convicts. Topic. Prison conditions Topic. Prison condition in India are bad and unhealthy as they are frequently life-threatening and do not meet international standards. Prisons were severely overcrowded with an occupancy rate of 114%. Prison lacks so much funding that in some areas occupancy level is as high as 277%, almost three times the permitted capacity. Topic. Population Topic. The following table gives the population and occupancy rate of prisons in India annually. Topic. See also Topic. Capital punishment in India National Crime Records Bureau Prison Officers Ranks Inspector General of Prisons Deputy Inspector General of Prisons Assistant Inspector General of Prisons Superintendent of Jail Related Crime in India Law Enforcement in India List List of prisons in India Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. HTTP colon slash slash ncrb dot gov dot in slash stat publications slash sci slash prison twenty fourteen slash prison stat twenty fourteen rev one dot htm HTTP colon slash slash ncrb dot gov dot in slash stat publications slash sci slash prison twenty fourteen slash contab htm <laughs>